Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So this is for the full moon in Leo, which is happening on February 16th. So before I get into each sign's individual reading, I just want to go over the energies a little bit so you better understand the energies. Now I'm not an astrologist, but this is what I do know. And then I'll read the cards according to the energy. So the full moon in Leo, and you know, you think about the full moon, it's about completion, full circle, it can be about releasing things and bringing things to an end. And it's all about cycles and rhythms as well, which can lead to endings. And so is the just the moon energy is very healing, it's cleansing, it's illusion. It can be about fear, but it's also about intuition, emotions and feelings. It also about cycles, rhythms and changes. And it also can be about the unknown or fear of the unknown that's before us as well. Now the energy of Leo, when you think of Leo, it represents the strength in the sun in the tarot. So Leo is all about, you know, shining brightly. It's all about strength, being maybe being in the spotlight. Some, you know, could be a little bit of ego, can be good or bad. Um, leader, bold. Um, very um, determined willpower control, you know, either inner control or control the situations around them. Maybe some may have a little problem with control issues as well. Um, but it's also about, you know, that willpower to restrain oneself also um, and holding back as well. But it's also about being strong, courageous, and brave, setting those healthy boundaries. And they usually are uh, truth speakers, you know, they speak up and speak their truth as well. There's no holding back a Leo, that is for sure. But we're still in Aquarius season. So combined with the Aquarius energy that we're in right now, Aquarius is um, all is an air sign. You know, an air is all about, you know, truth, clarity, communication, um, clarity, cutting away what's not serving, standing up, telling it like it is as well. It could be imaginative, a lot of ideas as well. But with the Aquarius energy, it's about... That's more uh, Aquarius, more of like a community, charity, uh, social uh, kind of energy as well. Humanitarian sometimes, that's where the charity comes in. They're usually good creators and they're future thinkers. They think ahead, you know, they uh, look into the future. Very goal orientated and uh, sometimes can be cool and aloof. And a lot of times I like to be um, homebodies as well. I mean, not necessarily for all. So that's the energies we're dealing with. So we'll see how these combined energies with your sign and what's going on for you for this full moon in Leo, what is uh, going to happen. So we'll look at all energies, love, work, money, career, relationships, whatever wants to come out is what we're going to read here. So I shall see you at your sign. Hi Libra, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what is going on for you for this full moon in Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Libra placements, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you. Oh, there's three right there, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around. If you feel like it's not your energy for somebody else's, then you feel free to do that. Cross watchers are welcome. Could actually be a reading or some messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. That's way too many. All right, Libra, what is going on for Libra? Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box, so you can check that out if you would like to. Your playlists are down there. Your February readings are out as well. I'll be doing uh, more weeklies. I do have a poll up on the community tab uh, for Valentine's Day week. If you'd like to see a special reading, please go vote on that. All right, and if you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. You get a weekly reading, which those just went out. A little bit shorter sneak peek for the week ahead. Longer readings like this one. I do two monthlies, a new moon and a full moon. All right, Libra. What do you need to know about this full moon in Leo? What is going on for you, Libra? We have forgiveness, 23, which is five, which is about change. Letting go, healing, growth, and compassion. So we may have a little change going on here uh, with uh, connections where we're healing, forgiving, letting either letting go completely or letting go of a situation to heal or forgive. 
and move on either from the situation or move on in a better energy. We have here possession seven. Now seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy. Belongings, finances, assets, treasures. Somebody, I don't know, because I kind of envisioned when I saw that seven and with the possessions there, I kind of envisioned the seven of swords. So I don't know if there was a little trickery involved here or someone uh, took something from you, if it was a possession, actual money or something like that. A little sneaky energy going on maybe. I don't know. And we have presence. 44 which is a stable, grounded energy, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. I feel like maybe it was brought to your attention, maybe by somebody else present in your energy, or you just being very in tune, in touch, and pres uh, present in the energies to finally catch something that happened. Um, definitely somebody or becoming aware or something was brought to your attention, someone maybe you're connected to. Uh, you could be forgiving them, or you know, if you are forgiving them, you could be just saying, okay, I forgive you, but I don't want you a part of my life anymore, or maybe deciding to forgive and heal and still be connected. So for you, it could be, a lot of you could be different. So I'm gonna see where this is going. Now this could be a friend, family, a coworker, it could be a lover. But definitely, and I kind of see the B here, like getting news. Um, it could be an outside source, and maybe a source you don't even know where it came from, but you know somehow you get the message. Or it could be your intuition telling you that as well. Or maybe you stumbled upon something where it gave you proof as well. Hmm. All right, let's see where this is going for you. Libra. Also protecting, I feel like you're more in protective mode now of protecting your, um, being more in the presence of what you have and what you need to protect as well. So we have dry desert, 31, which is four, which is stable grounded energy. We have talisman, we have 49, which is 13, which is four. Again, a lot of fours showing up here. And we do have a cleaning house. Now, I just got this for, I believe it was Gemini. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. 37 completion, full circle, and one new beginnings. Some of you may be in cleaning house and, and you know, the talisman is some is an energy. It can be a person, place. So it's more of like a person, someone who's been through a lot, has a lot of life lessons, has a lot to uh, share. You know, it could be, some, sometimes it can be kind of like a landmark. Sometimes it's an actual person um, kind of like shines the light and they have a path the way they have a lot to share. Um, it's a lot of growth expansion as well. It could be an energetic energy. It could be an actual person. It could be a spiritual energy. I'm almost feeling like with this dry desert, it's like being an energy of feeling like there's no growth, expansion, things are just kind of stale and stagnant. Um, there's not a lot of replenishment either. So it could be somebody came into your energy here uh, and they kind of see seen you as kind of like a savior, a light, and maybe they didn't have anything to their name and they came in here hoping that um, you would give them everything they need or support them or maybe they took advantage of you in some way, but you're cleaning house now. So whatever this energy is, I think you're putting an end to it. So you could actually, I don't know, kick in this person out, person out, or you're out of your space, your life um, as well. Wow, so I'm definitely feeling here and all the more wiser, I feel with this talisman, being all the more wiser and wary about who you trust, um, who's coming into your life and the path ahead as well. So I feel like this is really going to teach you a lesson and illuminate the path ahead for you on who you feel like you can trust and not trust and trusting your intuition about that as well. So this is really like a wake up call, I feel, for someone here. Definitely an energy now of, you know, maybe you physically have to get this person out of your energy in some way, shape or form. All right, let's see. So we have forest breathe. There's a growth expansion. So we got the dry desert and then we have the forest. 
So this was kind of hard to see, you know, through the thick dense density of the forest, hard to see this coming or know what to expect, what was ahead, because you can't really see the path ahead, through the dense um, forest here is kind of what I feel. Waterfall, effortless. I feel like moving forward here, things, things like this are going to be much easier for you to determine what you can trust, what you can't trust. It's just going to be very, um, you know, it's about going with the flow. I mean, this waterfall is, you know, just flows uh, with ease. It's, you know, water is very nurturing. It's cleansing. It's healing. It's about emotions and feelings. Going with the flow, intuition. It's feminine energy as well. Let's see. And we have rain, purification. Wow, that's twice we have water here. See, I feel like you're going to stop, breathe. You learn your lesson. How to, you know, see the path through the trees, through the density of the uh, forest or trees, purifying yourself from that, learning the lessons, purification and cleaning house. So you're definitely, definitely um, getting something here out of your life. And then things are just going to flow effortlessly for you. Like I said, you're just going to know, okay, like trust your intuition as well. I can trust this person. I can't trust that per person. I know they're full of BS now. It's like now you know how to recognize it, I feel. All the more wiser, especially with a talisman. I wish I had the book here so I could read you um, what that has to say. All right. Okay, let's move. Okay. All right. So, Libra, let's see what we need to know here. So, we're going to look at all energies. So, now I don't know. This could have been, like I said, anybody. It could have been a family member. It could have been a friend, a co worker, a lover. All right, so let's get more information here for Libra. And, you know, maybe, you know, now being more present in the energies that are around you, so really, really paying attention. Maybe you just didn't really, like, pay attention to signs, symbols, energy around certain people, places, and situations, and now it's like, okay, I'm going to fine-tune my energy, be in the moment, stop, breathe, take it in. And then you're just going to let it flow through you. And then you're just going to know, okay, I can trust. I can't trust. This is BS. You're just going to know now. All right. Let's see here. For Libra. Libra. I could be dealing with the water sign because we have rain and uh, water, which is water energy. So it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or Earth, because forest is kind of like Earth energy to me, so it could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right. Well, we, no, that's way too many. All right. <laughs> All right, Libra, come on now. Libra. All right, right there. Page of Swords. So, yeah, this is, I feel like you gaining the information um, from Source, from your intuition that you know how to, how to discern now. This is like very discerning energy for me. I usually get this as research or going online, you know, social media, or maybe checking things out in some way online as well. It can be about honest communication, truth, clarity. That's Aquarius for me, and we are in Aquarius season right now. Queen of Cups. So there's that water energy. Male or female doesn't matter. The star. So there's a healing so we're going to see if you're going to heal the situation or maybe heal and move on or maybe you'll heal the situation and keep this energy around. I don't know. Only you know what's best for you. Nine of Swords. But, you know, there's an energy of healing. But within the healing is still some... Now, that says cruelty. But Nine of Swords for me is stress, fear, worry, anxiety, maybe sleepless nights. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I definitely feel like here, Libra, some of you... Yes, it could have been love here. So it could have been about a lover. And here's the star. So maybe healing it, but there's still something about the energy that is stressing you out. So you could be going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons. Do I want to keep this energy in my life? Is it worth it? Even though we feel like we've made amends and we've healed, there's still something about the energy that is stressing me out here. So either, you know, more communication is needed with this page of swords or... 
you know, I kind of see the sword is up, like, ready to, it's like, you know, I just, I don't know if I can do this. So, the nine in the sword here could be, like, the ten of swords. Three of wands. So, you could be waiting things out, see how it goes, you know, down the road here. But, um, again, the five of pentacles could be financial loss. So, maybe, you know, you were, something changed in your finances and you're like, hmm, I don't get this. So, I don't know if you gave this person access to your accounts or something like that. Say, it could have even been a spouse. I mean, could have been a family member. It could have been anybody. Maybe you gave them access to your accounts and now you're like, why do I see this big change or you can't figure it out and there's an imbalance somewhere, feeling like worry about some sort of financial loss really weighed you down, oppression. So could have really lost something here. But we do have the four of wands, completion here. Something within your home and feeling kind of... Um, Displaced is what I'm feeling about the whole thing here. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, definitely here with the Ace of Swords. And I feel like more communication is needed. This is truth, clarity, uh, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Um, can be successful in the beginning or cutting away things no longer serving, standing up, telling it like it is. So, and I'm feeling like with this Knight of Wands at Sagittarius energy, someone came rushing into your energy, but all they did was disappoint you and either broke your heart or broke your trust in some way, shape, or form. Especially if it was a family member, left you very, very confused, or a friend. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands with uh, justice here. So I feel like to bring truth, clarity, justice, balance, could be legal matters as well. Very trying time here with the Nine of Wands. Oh, Devil Energy, Capricorn, Toxic Energy here. So I'm not sure if this person can still be trusted. Uh, and as I say that, the Ace of Swords shows again. I don't know, Libra. I don't know if you could trust this person. I don't know if this was a lover. It could be someone that you love near. It could have even been a parental figure with this Queen of Cups. I mean, we have Cancer, Aquarius. Um, let's see here. Sagittarius, like I said here. So, Libra, that's you, and Capricorn. So, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you could trust this person again. I think you can waiting it out here to see whether or not this person is going to disappoint you again. So, let's see where this is going. I mean, can you trust this person again, wherever this was in your life? But change is right there. So, this could be the season. You know, this has gone on in your life many times with this person, you know, during the Leo season, it could be about taking control finally of the situation and cleaning house for good in some way, shape, or form. All right, let's see where this is going. Ten of Cups. So definitely, you know, that can be a very happy, uh, fulfilling either relationship or family life. Magician. Knight of Cups. For some of you, I'm feeling like this was a family member. It doesn't have to be, though. King of Pentacles. That could even be a parent. I kind of see the King of Pentacles as like a, um, a paternal energy and the Queen of Cups more of a maternal energy. Hmm. And the Wheel of Fortune. Tower. Big shift, sudden change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, maybe something crumbling down or ending or something shocking that happened, a disruption, Aries energy. But now we have temperance here. It's almost like the tower is clearing something away so temperance can come in and restart balance, peace, harmony to bring in something that's meant to be. Hmm. So it could be a period of here of feeling kind of alone, disappointed, like I had said. But see, the promise of something new is coming in. The Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands showing up. Eight of Swords. So feeling a little stuck. Yeah, some sort of sabotage here. Or somebody feeling defeated or um, done wrong. That's what I'm feeling as well. But, I mean, we have the Three of Cups now, which could be celebrating, but then we have the Ace of Swords again. I mean, that could be dating, getting to know, or something like that. Um, 
So we have the new here with the Magician. This is Gemini, Virgo. We have Pisces, uh, no, Scorpio, Virgo, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see here. Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. With the lovers behind that, it's almost like that's Gemini energy. It's almost like... It could be an energy of like you're dealing with this and at the same time you're really getting to know somebody and date somebody. So I'm feeling for some of you, um, this is like a really good friend, like a lifelong friend or a new friend or a family member or a distant family, like a cousin or something. And it's like you're dealing with this mess with this person. And it could be legalities in here too. And at the same time, you've really met this person that's come into your life and feeling really happy. Or maybe you're in a very happy committed relationship you know maybe you're just living together whatever and then all of a sudden this person comes in and causes just a lot of um havoc here that maybe you didn't see coming so however this resonates for you because i kind of see this magician um and i don't usually get it but so i can read reversals even if it's not reversed so i feel like this is like um a manipulator that comes into a very happy home life comes in a very loving, giving, you know, caring, nurturing energy, um, kind of rolls on in what like this wheel of fortune energy, seeing like a, a very stable, grounded, like home environment where they can come in and take advantage of it. So I don't know if this is like a con artist or somebody you thought you could trust, but yeah, it causes disruption here. It's sadness and loss, but but something's going to be gained out of this because I did see the Ace of Pentacles, some sort of celebration. So I don't know if there's like legal matters going on. I mean, we didn't, haven't seen justice yet. And maybe there will be a victory here. Something's going to have, this like a turn of fate here because we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like things are going to get better, go in the right direction in some way, shape or form. Now, if this isn't making sense for you, if you're like, well, this isn't my story. Um, I mean, it sounds very specific. So... Um, I mean, some of you could be getting communication from somebody here who has been very, uh, maybe secretive, hasn't really revealed, you know, how they've been truly feeling. Maybe they've been hiding a lot. They're very stressed out about coming forward. Um, we have a lot of healing here, though, with the star. So I feel like, you know, once communication comes in, somebody may have to clean up their energy or energies around them before coming in. So where there was like, no growth, expansion, or effort being put in with this dry desert. Someone's now going to come in, in, in and be more present in the moment after they purified something in their life. And now, you know, growth, expansion, now coming together and the emotions, the energy is just going to flow effortlessly. Someone learning a lot of lessons, I feel, as the talisman energy. You could be leading the way for this person as well. Especially if you've already been through this kind of situation. So a lot of different energies here. So we're going to have to take how this resonates for you. So it could be during this Leo full moon that um, if some of you were dealing with somebody in, the, in your life like this, that came in your energy and deceived you, whatever, it could be that it finally is complete during this Leo season. You know, finally taking charge of that situation. And for some, somebody could be coming in here and finally bringing uh, their feelings full circle and things just move effortlessly now between the two of you because there had to be purification of some way in some way as well. So forgiveness may need to be had here. All right. I mean, somebody could have just been protecting themselves, their belongings, their finances, assets, especially if they were recently divorced or in a relationship, especially with cleaning house there. All right. But I feel like things are going to get better. So whatever your situation here, Libra, whatever you're dealing with, things are definitely going to get better. So it'll be up to you um, how you want to move forward with this energy, whatever it is for you. So let's see here. Seven of Wands, setting healthy boundaries. Somebody definitely had their boundaries up. There's that tower showing up again. Judgment call, yeah. And we just spoke of that Scorpio energy. The Fool, a reset, energetic reset, trusting, taking a leap of faith, starting anew. Aquarius, 
Aquarius with the star, Aquarius with the fool. We are in Aquarius season right now. Um, there's the full moon. We didn't have any Leo energy show up yet, but um, well, the seven of wands is Leo energy here. So during this Leo full moon, some sort of change is going to happen here and a final decision made and there's going to be a reset. Definitely here. And then the emperor. Yeah, taking control here. So this could be the divine masculine. It could be a father figure. It could be a boss. Some of you, um, it could be, you know, juggling around your finances a little bit here. It could be actually rising up. Uh, you could have been manifesting like a promotion or a transfer or something like that. That could be coming in for you as well. Some of you could be venturing out, owning your own business. I kind of see that with the fool and the emperor, like being an entrepreneur, um, starting a little business or joining an independent business as well, taking that leap of faith, making that judgment call, making a big change, you know, fighting for a better life here as well. Temperance, again, bringing in what we deserve. So we have Sagittarius energy again, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries. In the Empress. Oh my gosh. Emperor in the Empress. Divine counterparts. Now we have Libra Taurus. It could be that if, you know, you, you know, maybe this person is going to help you take control over the situation as well. So some of you maybe have been trying to deal with an issue here on your own. And maybe this new person that you're dating or maybe somebody in your life comes in here to help you deal with the situation to clear it out of your energy and now you two can really uh be serious you know better things coming here temperance knight of pentacles probably a long time coming here a long time you were dealing with something as well um taurus energy two of swords very indecisive energy like not sure what to do anymore feeling kind of blocked but here's closure here, definitely closure, new beginnings, ending the cycle, new cycle starting. Could be traveling, moving, or distance as well. Some of you could be physically moving. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio here with the universe, the world energy. Well, here's Leo. Full, look at that full moon in Leo. Strong, courageous, brave, determined energy. Could have been a could have been a lot of holding back here at Libra about doing the right thing. Maybe you felt like you couldn't do this to this person because they're family or a lifelong friend or whatever. And now it's just being strong enough to do the right thing. Strong enough to do the right thing. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel. And doing it very victoriously. Six of Wands. And a rebirth is at hand here. Scorpio energy. So death, ending, completion, transferring, transferring. Some of you could be transferring in work. And there's the Queen of Wands, which could be Leo again. or For me, it's Aries, but it could be Leo, Aries, or Sag. Being fired up. And there's the Sun, Leo energy again. So happiness, joy. There's you with your lover. It's just the two of you now. No more interference. Happiness, joy, expansion, and growth. Light, love, peace, harmony, happy home and family, enlightenment. Everything positive with the Sun. Wow, soulmate, twin flame. So... I feel like whatever whatever this energy was interfering, there's like no more interference here. Now it's just the two of you, the emperor and the empress. Wow. Making that judgment call. You know, it can be about healing, forgiving, but then letting go. Like releasing the energy. Like wishing wellness and healing and best, but <laughs> kind of like off you go on your merry way. And it kind of frees now the energy for you and your person here to be together. And they could be helping you do this as well. Set these, um, making change to set healthy boundaries here. To make better decisions. They could be the talisman. You could be, you could be the talisman together. Together, you could be like a force to be reckoned with. Making really good decisions going forward. Really shining the light for others as well. Wow, I think things are just going to flow. Now, much better energy. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here for uh, Libra, for Libra, and I kind of see the sun shining behind the emperor, 
which is divine masculine energy or masculine energy. You can be female, be masculine, male, be feminine. doesn't really matter. Page of Wands. New ideas, communication, exciting new adventures is what I'm feeling as well. Five of Swords. Defeat. Two of Cups, Soulmate Union. See, I feel like here the two of you somehow come up with, I don't know, this kind of sounds crazy. This page of wands, I'm feeling as communication, you know, ideas, creativity, somehow getting out of this defeated energy and getting rid of this energy once and for all. This very um, sabotaging energy here. Hierophant. This could lead to marriage, commitment, moving in as well, leveling up. That is, um, that could be, you know, institutional energies as well. Business, corporations can be, you know, faith, spirituality, religion, marriage, commitment, learning, you know, going back to school, being a teacher, many different things, you know, tradition, standards, values. Let's get one more here. Page of Cups. Sincere offer here. Apologies. Could be an apologies to say offers, love offers. So we have Pisces, Taurus. Now we have the Queen of Wands again. That's Aries or another fire sign. Death again, rebirth. Six of Wands, success, victory. And there's a lover's Gemini. So I think together, together, uh, that's Gemini, making a choice here for together. It's like, it's like you couldn't do something alone. Like you couldn't figure out how to rid this energy on your own. Somehow when this person comes in, the two of you are able to purify and clean up this energy or interference or whatever this was and removing it either from your life, their life, both your lives, however here. And now uh, this is really this connection between the two of you really leveling up to a higher uh, state of being in a way. It's kind of what I feel. Wow. And again, revolving work, career, or finances. You know, you could be maybe um, you do work for a big business or corporation or firm. I don't know. I just heard that. Um, somebody could be making a decision change here to offer you more of a leadership kind of role as well. You may definitely be making more money here as well. It could be really shining your light. Uh, shining like a star, being in the spotlight. Some of you could be getting employee of the month as well. Or maybe you just recently got that uh, during um, maybe the start of Aquarius season, the end of uh, January. Let's see what's on the top. Yeah, the moon. So we are talking about that full moon in Leo. So this is Pisces energy though, but this is about, you know, intuition, higher knowing. I feel like learning the secrets of life together and then doing this together in some way, shape or form, and then not fearing the unknown anymore, moving forward. Yeah. Going on a new journey here. Some could be moving or traveling, but a long time coming. Page of Pentacles, solid offer. Again, this could lead to marriage commitment. Again, this is the offer of uh, making more money, transfer, rising up, leadership. And there's a Leo, full moon in Leo. So things really taking charge uh, for you during this time. Yeah, new cycle starting, old cycles ending. Wow, your whole world is about to change here in a big way. And I feel like this person is kind of going to help you do this, um, Libra. All right, so kind of seemed all over the place. So many messages coming through. So I take them how they resonate for you. Libra. All right, so let's get you some advice and guidance for Libra. No more interference. I feel things, I don't know, just run effortlessly and together the two of you, I don't know, you, you just kind of put an end to this and now it's just the two of you. All right, shield yourself. Invoke protection to bring this situation to a speedy end. Wow. Okay. So this could be a newer connection because pink is about new love for me. So definitely um, 
Wow. <laughs> okay. And I'm kind of seeing this as like a bubble of protection, like a shield around you, them, the energy, putting up the healthy boundary right here, seven of wands. Balance, work, rest, and play. It's important to for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibility. So this could have started out as, for some, this is a co-worker situation or a friend or family one situation you're dealing with and another one is either a new love situation or it could be that maybe you're dealing maybe your love person was someone you did work with at one time or were friends with or it's just two separate energies so how that resonates for you what else here for libra patience your prayers have been heard and they are being answered yeah so maybe you prayed you know help me get out of this you know i've been patient long enough i just don't know what to do anymore somehow this person comes in and helps to free you from this situation or interference open your heart wow your potential for a greater love rests in opening your heart blockages and wounds from your past will be healed and you'll be met with the true person you seek oh my goodness so what i feel like here wow so now it makes sense libra i feel like this could be like a co-worker a friend maybe a person of expertise or guidance or someone you reached out for help could be a pi i mean it could be somebody you reached out for help to help you clear your energy of this very deceiving energy and somehow it slowly turns to love and through time, this person that helped you get out of the situation ends up being a deep love here. So it goes from new love to a deep love. Wow. So this is the person that you were meant to be with. So unfortunately, things had to play out this way so that you could actually be with the person you're meant to be with. And I feel like the talisman is kind of like the universe leading, holding the universe or a globe in the hand right there, leading the way like, okay... Wheel of Fortune, this is how it has to play out so that you ca can be with the person you're meant to be with, unfortunately. So it could be that it comes full circle around this uh, Leo full moon. Full moon there, and we saw uh, the Leo full moon in the, I think it was the top of the deck. And we look at this first step. Breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easy to take the first step. Wow. Someone's going to help you break free because we have a lot of pink here, new love. So it could have started as a friendship, uh, someone who was a mentor or someone as a guide or somebody to help you, release you, whatever here. And slowly it's turned into this is the love the person I'm supposed to be with. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, Libra. All right. Well, that's what I have for you. And also some of you. You will be rising up in your work. So you could be getting um, an offer to rise up and be more of a leader. And some of you are going to be recognized for that star here. So you'll be getting like employee of the month or maybe a big bonus. So where you may have been struggling financially, um, I do see more money coming in as well. So where there was dry energy, where feeling, you know, not really having a dime to spare. Now you're going to have a lot of growth and abundance here and a very effortless energy as well. Some of you may, cleaning house may actually move, buy a new home as well. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. I hope it resonated. And thank you. it seemed like it was a difficult um, reading to get to the end goal, but there were so many energies here. So apparently whoever's watching this, um, something resonated for someone in a different way. So best of luck to you. Wishing you the best. And if it did resonate, give me a thumbs up. I know comments are turned off, but that's to protect everybody from scammers and bots and all that nasty stuff. So, uh, and crazy people. So, <laughs> But wishing you the best. And uh, again, don't forget to check out your February readings. More weeklies to come. And don't forget to vote on the poll, which you would like to see for Valentine's week. And then we'll be going into March already. So wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.